So in this video, we're going to show you how to retrieve a fire resource from a fire server. And we're going to use the exact same resource we just created and retrieve it from the same fire server. Now, the very first thing we need to do is identify what the unique ID is of that resource. So on the bottom here is the resource we just created. We can see the ID is down here. I'm just going to control C to copy it on my Windows or Command C on my Mac. And I'm going to, on the top here, we have the fire server. We have the resource we're interested in. And then all we're going to do is add a forward dash and then paste in that unique ID. And the operation needs to change because now we're not creating a resource. We want to retrieve one or read one. And the operation there is a get. It's basically saying, I want to get that resource. So get from this fire server, from this resource group, and then this specific resource. And all I do is click send, and there it is. The first thing it'll tell me is the status is 200, which means it was a success. And now my fire resource has been retrieved.